you know, and, and one and one's eyes and sensibilities evolve also. You know, I mean, there in the you know in the mid '60s, you had to be a militant abstractionist really to to survive. I mean, there was a an artist named Deborah Remington, who I showed, who did like very kind of surreal inspired. Uh, they they were abstract, but they looked like they were machines of some sort. They were uh, they were very meticulously and beautifully painted. And I still remember Carl Andre and, and Deborah didn't go out a lot. I mean, she didn't hang out at Max's with the rest of us or anything like that. Or, but she was she was at you know the booth I was in one night, and Carl walked right up to her and said, "Ah, you're the one that broke the heart of the biker gallery," and because. You know, he said, what are you doing with a figurative painter in the gallery? So it wasn't, uh, it's hard to say what's figurative and what's abstract at a certain point. So I don't, you know, I mean, if someone said to me, you know, pick one painting uh, that you'd want to live with for the rest of your life, it would probably be a Jackson Pollock painting. So, I mean, some things never change, some things do change. Uh, and, I, you know, there are artists, you know, I, I grew to, like, deeply, deeply admire Twombly's painting. And I've always regretted that I, I mean, it could still happen, that I wasn't able or never had the opportunity to write on size work. Uh, uh, there are a number of artists like that, you know, that, that I, Felt, I mean, like there's there's Rauschenberg. I've never written on Rauschenberg. Uh, uh, <clears throat> so it, you know, and you tend to fall. I mean, I mean, I don't think Carol Dunham wants me to just go on writing about no one but him for the rest of my life and the rest of his life. Uh, <clears throat> We all need to like sort of move. You need to move around some. Um, but I, you know, you still have your your. I mean, certainly, you know, Carol Dunham is is one of the artists I most admire, and I'm happiest to see uh, work of. And we've also become very good friends. Uh, he's really smart, uh, and we've very seldom disagreed on something in the way of art, which is uh, kind of unusual, but good. <laughs>